What's up everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing the 12th house when it comes to karmic issues. Okay, karmic issues in the composite chart or Davidson chart. So, this is going to be for Pisces ruling over the 12th house. This is going to be for Taurus ruling over the 12th house. Gemini ruling over the 12th house and Aries ruling over the 12th house when it comes to a composite chart or a Davison chart. All right, so let's jump into this. We're going to start off with Pisces, okay? <clears throat> so what this is going to be an indication of is that it may be difficult at times for you to tap into your spiritual connection as a couple and focus on your subconscious motivations and karma. Hmm. So off the rip here, because you don't always got to pause. Or if they repair these people, the couple as one, are finding it hard to tap into their spiritual connection. Which means that there could be times when they are seeking out to do those very things, but they find it extremely difficult to fully do it. It is something spiritual about this connection. Um, a past life relationship is definitely, a, you know, we know that this is an indication of that. But this is linked to karma. Okay? Where somebody could have left the other person. Okay? Abandoned the other person. Was missing in action. Not always available. Not always around. See what I'm saying? This is what could be going on and taking place. Um, the couple together you can have strong instincts together in times of crises and feel guided subconsciously but may not have a handle on the conscious there may be karmic issues with victim victim victimization <laughs> that needs to be addressed and scattered energy may need to be let go of so, in order for this to work out, they're going to have to address some issues. They're going to have to let go of that scattered energy. But for the most part, um, why does the couple feel like um, it's hard for them to really be on a spiritual connection, a spiritual path, or tap into it? Let's say it's not hard for them to be involved. It's hard for them to tap into the spiritual shit. Okay. And why is it hard? Because they're so worried about thinking about everything that's going on in this world. Okay, um, the karma or um, relationship baggage that they bring into the table from the previous life is something that is of a mystery. Okay, so yes, these people could be absolutely drawn to each other. Okay, sex could be excellent and all of that different type of stuff. But it is some confusion on what is this shit all about? Why are we together? Why are we coming together? Why am I so drawn to you? Why can't I get you out my head? Why can't I get you out my mind? Okay? But when you start conversing and conversating and having conversations and things like that, it can seem like a dream, like a fairy tale. When you get off the phone and you think about it days later and things like that and you think about it again, it can seem only like a dream. Okay? Or unreachable. Okay, um, one or both partners can be not completely available to each other. You see what I'm saying? Got to work on it, y'all. All right, Taurus will live over the 12th house when it comes to the composite um, chart and also the Davidson chart. So it may be difficult at times for you to find some calm time together to ground your energy together and not to behave um, and, um, all over the place kind of way. Okay. So these people need to learn how to ground each other, ground themselves and be calm with each other. This is something that they struggle with. Um, they can actually do this on a subconscious level. Okay. In times of crises. Outside of that, it's a struggle. So this is something to work on, um, we know that um, Taurus sign in general is about stability. Okay, so what the universe wants you to do is to learn how to be stable. Learn how to build a foundation together. Learn how to be calm with each other, comfortable with each other, familiar with each other. Okay, not all over the place with each other. 
Okay, arguing, bickering, fighting. You see what I'm saying? Don't be like that with each other. Not trusting each other. Um, jealous, okay, of each other and things like that. It's a lot of things. There may be karmic issues with stubbornness or discrimination that needs to be worked on. And some focus on the material, okay, may need to be let go of. Focus on the material world. Okay, focus on everything else that has to come along with the connection. Okay, which would mean money, which would mean um, (laughs) money, Um, homes, real estate, this, that, working, okay, businesses, anything you name it, traveling, going out to eat, going over here, going over there, doing this, doing that. Okay, a lot of that is going on and taking place, stubbornness. Okay, if you guys don't see eye to eye, don't hold the grudge. Open up and have an open dialogue of conversation with each other. See what I'm saying? That's all. Moving on to Gemini. So Gemini, ruling over the 12th house of the Copperson chart. Gemini, ruling over the 12th house of the Davidson chart. So it may be difficult at times for you to come together mentally, and to be fully open with your ideas and opinions. You can subconsciously have a meeting of the minds and may even feel like you can communicate telepathically at times. But this may come out in times of crises and be difficult to find. To, it will be difficult outside of that. Okay, so there may be karmic issues with understanding each other and that has to be worked on um and this is understanding each other on an intellectual level so focus may need to be your focus may need to be let go of all right so let's back this up this couple's having a hard time having the kind of mind that's like of like minds Okay, so their views are different. The way that they see the world is different. The way that they communicate is different. Um, And it needs to be um, addressed. Okay, you can agree to disagree. You don't have to argue about everything because you can learn how to pick your battles. You see what I'm saying? Learn how to pick those things. But mentally, they're, they're mentally frustrated with one another. There could be a lot of arguing in this relationship, um, quarrels and things like that. Um, they don't have a level of understanding. The only time they have levels of understanding is when some shit is off the hook and they have to solve problems. That's when the understanding is being presented. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. Um, also, let's see what else with this one. Okay, so yes, too much intellectual focus may need to be let go of. Okay, right. So clearly, both people will be intelligent in this connection, though. Will be intelligent, just don't see eye to eye. Okay, um, could be great debaters. Both people could like to go back and forth. Both people could probably like to um, uh, go back and forth and and debate each other constantly and consistently, okay? Fighting over the microphone on who's going to speak could go on and take place. So you just got to address that and just find some kind of common ground, okay? Because um, the ideas and opinions of both people are not meshing well. All right, so let's jump into the Aries, okay? So Aries ruling over the 12th house in the composite chart. Aries ruling over the 12th house in the Davidson chart. So it may be difficult at times for you to take initiative together when needed. And instead, that kicks in when you're moving together subconsciously. You jump to action together during times of crises, when you're not consciously deciding. But outside of that, you may struggle with action. There may be karmic issues with anger that need to be addressed. And some part of ego may need to be let go. Okay, these 
people are ego tripping, okay, in the relationship. Um, somebody in this partnership, or maybe both, okay, are not taking an initiative on stepping up or being a stand-up person, okay? Um, arguing and fighting can go on and take place. Okay, because um, both people are not backing down from the situation. Um, this can be rough and this can be difficult to deal with. Um, why? Because we're talking about anger needs to be let go. Mm -hmm. Anger needs to be let go and it needs an ego. Okay, so this could be um, someone that's prideful. Okay, someone that... Um, doesn't want to completely let that ego go, okay? Somebody could be a show-off, too. Both people could be very attractive and sexy, all right, as well, because you know Mars is involved and it brings that sexuality to um, the table. So both people could be very attractive, um, have a sense of fashion, okay? Um, it can be hard to control them, tell them what to do, what they're not gonna do, okay, and things like that. Tell them what to do, period. They don't want neither, neither one of them probably even wanna hear that shit, okay? Um, but it is difficulties when it comes to um, taking initiative, though, in this partnership due to something that went on and took place in the past life, okay, but this is still gonna be present and very prevalent in this life, okay? So any kind of anger, maybe you might need to go to anger management, maybe you might need to see somebody a psychiatrist or some shit like that or speak to a friend open up so that you can um have an open um dialogue of communication with each other okay so i'm gonna leave this on the snow for now and in future videos to come i'll go more into depth into this particular um series okay so anybody want to get their track analyzed please hit me up anybody want to donate to the channel please feel free so this is a force of nature, spiritual awakening, love is love, peace and blessings to you all, and I will see you on the next one.